Hey guys, it's Tiff back again, working in this art journal. I'm so excited to bring you a little bonus video, and today I am going directly into my journal page with um, this image from a book that I found at a used bookstore, and it had all of these lovely homes with these very intricate architecture and very interesting um very interesting book they were all in black and white and well to be honest with you now that i'm doing the voiceover i couldn't tell you what the name of the book was but i will see if i can scrounge that up and put it down in the description box below so i'm gluing this down as you see with the uhu glue stick just tearing off that edge because well i'm kind of a fan of the torn edge and then I'm going to squish it all down, brayer it good, make sure it doesn't have any um, air bubbles and things in it. And then I'm going to take some crackle paste. Now, my favorite crackle paste, and I'm asked all the time, Tiffany, what crackle paste do you love? I love the Deco Arch crackle paste. I'm going to go in here with this golden paint, and I'm going to mix it all together. And to create this very interesting mustardy color. Now, in hindsight, I think this page was actually driven from the mixed media, media, <laughs> the mixed media mood board from uh, Jen and Dee Dee. And I did not think about it when I was actually doing this, to be honest with you, but I think this color. Um, and the arch of the door and everything really does a good job of working with the mood board, even though I think subconsciously I had seen that and didn't even realize that that's what I was doing. So, um, I'm just wiping it back in the places where I didn't really care for it. I'm adding just a little bit of this, um, to the crackle paste, to the the actual building itself and I was thinking it's kind of like a stucco you know I was thinking like a worn stucco building and I thought it would add a little interest and appeal um, to the sky I will tell you that things are going to change up there because I wasn't feeling it and guess what it's your journal. You can do with it what the heck you want to. And so that took the liberty to make changes when things just don't work for me and make me happy. So I am going to go in now with some clear gesso because I wanted to add some things and it wasn't really working on kind of this glossy image. And clear gesso, if you've never used it before, it has some really interesting grit to it. So Things tend to stick and work a lot better um, with the clear gesso. And so I'm going to put a very thin layer of the clear gesso onto this image and really mainly concentrating directly into the um, building because that's where it's still shiny since I did not add a ton of crackle paste uh, to it. So the cool thing about Deco Arch Crackle Paste is you can tint it because it comes white, so you can make it any color that you want to. I do recommend that you let it start cracking um, on its own before you actually use your heat gun to it. And then I'm going in here with an Aqua New Pastel. The Aqua New Pastel with this really beautiful mustard color just gives it um, a richness that I'm digging and so I'm just going around some of the building and adding that little pop of color and now I'm going in with my pencil and I'm just making some real scratchy marks and I'm going in and that is called a blending stomp so the blending stomp kind of helps you pick up some of the cracks as well as make some shadows and I still wasn't, as I said, happy with the color in the top. I, it just wasn't standing out like I wanted it to. So I took my palette knife and mixed in some of um, the tube color there just to see. And then I added palette knife with the white. 
and I still didn't like it. Hmm. Sometimes that happens, right? And that's okay. No worries. Just using the heat gun to um, go in and dry some of that. The crackle paste had already cracked and was pretty dry at this point in time. And I thought it was interesting in my journal how one, one house was on one side and one house was on the other side. Pretty neat. And I'm going in here with black gesso. It was a bold move, but I thought that it would make this look very super moody and interesting. And I was feeling it, so why not go for it? I mean, after all, you never know unless you try it. And if you don't like it, you just paint over it is what I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, doesn't that make a huge difference, the bold black? And it's gonna, it is gonna crack a little bit. It's not gonna crack as if though it would if I had mixed the black with the crackle paste to start with. We would have got a different experience and texture and more cracks. But hindsight's twenty twenty, and your journal is all about exploring and figuring out what you like, what you don't like. And if you want to take them to a canvas, then well, you've learned something and you can do so. If you just want to learn and use what you've learned in another journal page, well, that's also fun. It's all about learning and figuring out what works. As you see, I just kind of brought, oops, tripod fail there. I just kind of brought some color and contrast around those windows so they really stand out. And then I found these words, a street leading home. And I thought it was perfect for this particular journal spread. And it really, really is fun and interesting. And I'm just going to put that directly down at the bottom with a little bit of, um, I believe, masking tape. And I'm just adding what I think is going to help it bring a little depth and expression into the page. And that is going to be that. So, easy peasy, super fun. I am going to take the china marker and add a few highlights, but I don't really know that it made a whole ton of, um, on the video, you can't really tell that it did anything, but I felt like it needed a little something. So, go with your gut, guys. Explore and create in your journals. Remember, it's not rocket science, it's art and should never be stressful. So, if you're just joining me, I hope you click that subscribe button. And I do put out videos pretty regular. Today's a bonus video. So thanks for joining in, guys. Take a look at these pictures, and you can see the texture in the black. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, to lose.